What's up, what's up, YouTube family? How you doing? This is your boy, Apple RS Beta 4K Tech. And on this episode, we gotta be talking about iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I gotta give you my thoughts and my review on this device right here. And the picture that you're looking at was taken by this device. So give me your opinion. Do you like the picture that I took? And I ain't more picture that I took with this device right here. So I want to give you my honest opinion, my thoughts. Should you go out and buy yourself this device in 2022? Or will you wait for next month device, the iPhone 13 Pro on the iPhone 14 Pro Max to come out with the series? So we got to talk about this device and what I like about this device and give you um, a person um having it for at least 48 hours so been having it for 48 hours and this is the gold version you can see that in gold and i just want to give you my personal thoughts i also want to tell you that i am one of the public beta 4 or is 16 on this device as well so let's get started with this device and First thing I want to do is compare the screen size to the regular uh, 13. So you can see the screen size is more bigger um, on here versus a 13. So the screen size on the 13 Pro Max is a 6.7 right here versus a 6.1. Uh, screen so you can see that on this side is more bigger and wide and more popping cutters than this so you get the iPhone uh, 13 Pro right here right here but when you turn it around you can see the camera notch is more bigger than the one that you see right there so it's more bigger and more true so um that's something that i want to say about this device a thing that i like about rs um 16 and even though this is the public beta and this one is one the uh developer beta sets on here this is good uh both of the devices still one of the best device you could ever get on the market so you're looking for a really great phone to buy this is a great phone to get uh prices go literally drop on this device once the next iphone come out next week or uh, next month not next week but when next month on the september 7th they will reveal the uh the next iphone so take tune on that so we gotta be talking about those iphone next but this is about this so what i like about rs 16 uh Public beta, so public beta been really good and been stable, and I feel like RS is finna uh, getting all the uh, features of RS sixteen. Um, and right now, now they doing with the um, uploading and downloading, and getting you updates every week. So either week they getting closer and closer to the complete version of RS sixteen. And it got to be open to all the people, all the publics. So I can't wait to see how that work cut. I've been losing this uh, beta for a while. I've been on beta 1, beta 2, on the divider beta 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and now set. So beta 7 should be coming out later on today. And public beta should be coming out tomorrow. So today is for public on divider beta. So I can't wait for to do a update on him. Then I will give you my thoughts on public uh, beta six for this and developer beta seven for this. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about camera. The cameras on here is really great. And so, so you have a other is twelve. You got a main camera right here is Y. Then you also have right here is a ultra wide trail. 
and you and this relay at more light and you also got a uh tether photo trail so all them suit in 4k 60 including the uh front camera now in the old front camera this be right here but they put the camera on this side now and not on this side like it was on the pre versions and so, so this device been out almost a year now um and the funny thing is i never owned this they were given away to me and it was a blessing and so, so i don't want to show you some of my favorite top features on this device so the first feature i want to talk about is uh subject cut out so You'll see that I cut this picture out right here, and this came out really nice. Um, and I actually took this picture with this device, so <clears throat> y'all can see how nice that look. So I got to show y'all the width of the pictures, and this right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can see that I took it with this device, and all that I did, and yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite feature um and so and all then you have to do hit share it did tell you the megabyte i gotta hit this and so so one i truly love about this is the fact when you go down you can have a nice cover artwork right here and you can screenshot it like this is how i literally do it i screenshot it then I turn this into a lock screen. Just one feature that I really love having right here. I really love having this. This one feature that I could say that really make the phone pop so um once you do that i got a little yellow on here and make it nice and the high is okay so that is a beautiful sight so when you look you get this nice beautiful effect right here so uh, let me change the clock widget because I want to change the clock to this. Make it uh, modern. Make it modern. Make it unique inside. So when people look at this, it's like, oh, wow, this is a nice picture. So I really love that feature right there because you could do a whole bunch of cut out and you can literally uh, have a different background. And sometimes the black levels on here we could save the battery life really great. Whenever you see a whole bunch of black, and only color you got right here is limited color, it can save a lot of battery percentage. You can see that this could on the 100%. Now, let's talk about battery life. Battery life on here is really great. The battery lasts for hours. And it gives you lots of good battery percentage if you go right here. And you can see that the last time I charged was two hours ago. And it gave you seven hours on screen. That how long I was on there. On screen. Then it also gave you another seven hours or off screen. So the other seven hours off screen is when I was asleep. But the other ones were day, taken like day before. And so, so that one that I was saying. Now, the battery half, most people don't show you the battery half on YouTube. This is cut on uh, almost close to 100%, but 99%. But I would just say in 100%. Right now, it don't say 99%. The battery screen on it is really great. Really great battery life. Because the battery life is really awesome on here. And that one that I could say that I love about the battery life. And... Uh, and maintain like this is the beast. The battery only is the best battery that I ever lose. 
just like this. This got one of the best battery uh, that I ever lose on here as well, too. So battery life on both of these bikes could last. You can see that it's on 87%. And this on, on here. So that one feature. A feature that I always try to tell people to go and get is this. Let me go to the um, my picture. So if this feature right here, I really love when it comes to matching to. And I match it myself. So this is a picture of me, coach. So say that I want to add it, a, a match to say hi. I'll put a hi right here. And I want to add it again now. Just say hi, Sylvester. And say that I want, I don't want to say hi, Sylvester. I want to just say, hello. Hello, Sylvester. And I want to say hello to Sylvester. So say I want to say, okay, let's say hello to Sylvester. And Melissa. I can say hello to Sylvester and Melissa. And now you can see that uh, I got history of saying hello to Sylvester. And you can see the history. So once you hit this, and go up to five times. So one feature that I really love is um, it takes you 15 minutes to um, edit this. And wait, two minutes to edit, then 15 minutes to undo, uh, unsend. So say that I could copy this, but I don't want this. So I want to unsend. Now you could unsend the message like it never happened. And that feature that I like about Master. Another feature that I really like is the fact that when you go into the uh, wallpaper section and you get her new update wallpaper. So the wallpapers on here is really great and I'm happy that what Apple is doing. So on the last beta on beta five on uh, beta five on on the developer Austin and beta four on the um Public beta. Uh, he had a different uh role. So before it say add new wallpaper will pop up right here on the center of the screen. But now all then you have to do go right here. You had two different wallpapers. So saying this taking you straight to the lock screen, they will allow you to uh pair a different wallpaper from right here. You don't want this, you can have it as black right there and uh crime tape. And you can also pick the color right here. And you can make it like a reddish black right there. Or uh, they put the yellow right here. And you can have a nice little effect right there. And when you pop up, you can have a nice little pop up right here. And you just have that as black. So that's something that I really like a lot with this. And I would keep it this way because this is nice. This is... Uh, one of the cleanest look that I ever seen on any phone. But um, now, when we go back to this, you want to add new wallpaper. Uh, they is missing some features like on here. People is not on here. So when you go into this device right here, and when you go into that, you can see that, um, and go to wallpapers. And you go right here, you get people right here versus right here. This ain't the one of the same uh, beta, but different. It's this public beta. This is the developer beta. So for some reason, I don't know if they got to bring that feature back on this update on uh, tomorrow. So right here, uh, you get her new wallpapers on here. So really nice wallpapers that they is getting on here. So. Uh, you got the airplane mode. This is one of my favorite wallpapers. You can also make it more bigger <laughs> or more rounded. They also have uh, this is emojis, and then you got collection right here. You got the um, clownfish. It's a really great with the clownfish. Then you got the old classic uh, RS uh, theme. I hope they bring 
all the withered ones back. So you could do night mode. And you want night mode, you get it right here to appearance. And you want it in night mode, and we appear in night mode right here. And this is the only application that support uh, wallpaper in night mode. For some reason, I didn't know why RS not putting it into no other devices but this inside. So that sucks, but that part of life inside. So then you have cutters. Cutters is something that I like to lose. And you can see that you can change to different blue cutters. <laughs> Same thing with this other card, you can change to D cutters. But the one that I most appreciate is this one. That you can see that it changed to different ones. So um these are new wallpaper. I really appreciate the new wallpapers. And so then you have the uh, the clock one right here with the rather they changed this up before. This for a little bit back on back and you can ask to see what your location is so right here you can see the world right here different mode on the on the bottom so they did bring this back up and was in the center not right here before so wherever you add a widget say that you add a widget from right here let's see right here and now it will be in the center right here, same on top right there. So it will move down, same moving up. So that's something that I really like and stuff. But you get the same agreement right here, like I say. But they got a whole bunch of nice wallpapers right here. You got all the lists right here. You got the cutters right here. You got the weather, so many emojis. You got a photo shift that when you go into photo shift, uh, right here, let's choose, let me, my own, so I could go right here, I could pick out a really great picture, uh, let me go right here, and we pick out Spider-Man, let's get this Spider-Man, this Spider-Man, I thought I gotta pick the real ones out, let me pick out, let me get something else, like I just seen, gotta show you how that works. Okay, so we got to get our Justine pictures, and we got to, to have her pictures as as, as example, and so, so I just want her pictures. <laughs> and so, so however her pictures appear on here, as a twin, I didn't know how much you would like to have on there, but uh, and we do self. I got so how that work right now. Let me just add a couple more. I just Okay, so a limit is 50, so you're only allowed to have 50 pictures. Okay, so now I just gotta remove this and just have I just uh, right here. I got like pit like uh, when you type or you know, on the lock screen, uh, they give you a whole bunch of different way. Make sure I turn the death for fat right here. You can see that every, every time you turn the lock screen, we turn on uh, with the lock screen, and it will be the exact same one. I like this one much better. I just got to keep it like this. And when you select this, uh, no widgets at all. So, in doing the photo thing, and we just got hit, um, hit this. Then when you go home, when you go home, and when you go into the lock screen, you get this picture right here. We had a great picture. Let me screenshot this real fast. Then when you type off, you get a whole different picture. This is something that I really like. I really like because you can literally just just go and see different pictures of I just on here and you can see that it really makes sense when you open the wallpapers and you can see that you get the nice uh effect when it comes to uh making wallpaper so really nice really dope inside so you can customize this however you want and you can see how it looks so that one feature that I really like 
about our SO uh, right there. So we could go right here. And this is something that I really like about the new RS-16 and stuff. Another thing that I really think a whole bunch of people will really truly like is the fact that not only you can able to add it how you want to add it, but it can really give you a really great time of adding your videos. Um, let's talk about the weather. The weather is something that uh, I don't really talk about too much, but it is an update for the weather report. <clears throat> so when you look at the weather, uh, should give me my location for some reason. Didn't give me my location right here. So this is my location right here. You just go right here, click on here, and now this give you the new updates right here. You can see how the weather is, how the wind, uh, the temperature, the uh, you can see what is going on live, and that's something new. Uh, another feature that I did not talk about is accessibilities. And when you go right here, you get live catcher. Now, I got live catcher for FaceTime, and I really do love live catcher because I can see what the other person is saying at the end. And it's really great to see that. Then you have the um, the way you could cut it. So, right here, you could cut the text right there. Uh, you can make the text white. I don't like the color of my test. I like to leave it white. Everything is white. And I do like the color of this, like in blue. So when I feel like uh, I only lose on Facebook. I only lose on Facebook for this. Now, they did update this um, on the last update. Uh, on the last update, they didn't did it. So they did update that part right there. So that's just something that they had done. Uh, I wish we could bring that out and make it into uh, a different cutter in the background, like Pit 1D cutter. So when you turn that feature on right here, you turn this on right here, and it will appear right here. And you can see that when you go into, let me show you a good example. Oh, my bad. This has to change my cutter white. So I made it change it blue. so good so say that I want on Facebook I'm watching the Facebook video and was watching I go to a different video let's see different one okay right here give it a chance in your life the place to live I don't think it translate. I don't think that one translate. I just found something else that could speak English. Could be raw. Okay. So you get a point. Let's go on YouTube and show you a different way of YouTube. Okay. So this is a good example right here. And so what do you think the most underrated smartphone of 2022 is? In my opinion, it might just be the Xiaomi 12 Lite. Now, usually Lite models don't get quite the same hype as perhaps a Pro you or see? an Ultra, but this is a very, very solid device indeed. So that one that I like, I love losing this. I always keep it right here on the side and it works just fine. So it's really great to see that feature on here. Uh, but in more RF features, it's there. And, and a whole bunch of way of adding now the camera now a feature a main feature that i really like if you go into the settings right here and you go into photos gallery so this is another feature that i need to talk about because it's very important to me and dear to me so when you go into um here into the photo you have this new feature car share library share library is something that is uh, rs is doing and like if you want to take a picture your family will see that picture right there and then and that is a cool feature another feature that i really love about is that feature right here when it comes to uh show hidden uh pass right here before when you hit this uh it will like just be hidden but now i don't need to 
turn that feature off no more. I would just leave that feature on because now it's a hit your face. So lose your face to lock your screen. So whenever you on your account right here now, down here, you got a lock screen right here. So this is lock right here. D2 right here. And it would tell you that your screen is locked. And you say that you must lose face ID or your touch. So this is something new I like that I got hidden on there. So you can type this and you can see that no one cannot go into your personal pictures, your private pictures, whatever you have right there it will be private. Another thing that I truly love is this new thing called Dutrina. Uh And you got a whole bunch of uh, pictures, exact same pictures. It was instant uh, to be uh, emoji. Red, red one got the best quality in red emoji like this. Like, let me give you a good example. Like, I won't mess with this. I would just leave it. I just don't really mess with a different one because I love having two as a picture, one for backup and one in case, uh, one for backup and the red one I keep. So um, that is that. Now, I don't see too much update for this right here, but uh, you do get some nice pictures, photos, and stuff, so, so that is new. Now, they did bring back 3D Touch. 3D Touch is back on here. So when you look at 3D Touch, 3D Touch is official back, and where how you know it's back when you tap in, you tap on here. You got all that you gotta do is put 3D touch and you get 3D touch and hyper touch at the same time. So they did prove that um better and I'm happy they did that. So yeah, so we gotta continue this on a different video. I just want to show you some of my favorite features on our assets team. Um and I just give you more details in the feature in the later future video. So Please subscribe on my YouTube channel, uh, put a like, or you know what to do, put a dislike, so hit me up on the next video, I will stay tuned on the next piece. Oh yeah, and please subscribe on my YouTube channel. I need more subscribers, so boost that subscribers level up. Peace.